Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to Solar Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record, and produce my own music. And I also film three videos a week here on my YouTube. And this series is all about spirituality and metaphysics and the occult and so, so much more. And for this video, we are going to talk about stepping into your power because I made a Instagram post, I think it was, talking about our power I mean I kind of always say the phrase step into your power remember your power like fear falls away when you're stepping into your power and all of this but I think it's important to actually elaborate on what that means what your power is because if you don't know what it is then how do you know how to step into it you know so for me this is just going to be my perspective and for me I feel like stepping into your power is literally authenticity like authenticity is your power that's what your power is because only you can be you only you have the vessel that you do only you have the like creativity and the ideas and all of these things like only you have your personality and your ego mind and like you came here to be you for a reason otherwise you wouldn't even be here so that is your power is just being yourself it's being authentically you not what other people want you to be not what society tells you to be but literally just being who you are and who you feel called towards being you know like the best version of you basically and when we step into that which is our power when we step into that authenticity and that truth then the experiences that we attract the people that we attract, the like the relationships and connections that we're willing to open ourselves to are of such a high vibration because you're being yourself. And that doesn't mean that you won't attract negative things because we attract negative things for many, many reasons. Not just like, not because you deserve it, but because it benefits you and serves you in some way. So it doesn't mean that you'll never experience bad things again, but it does mean that how you move through those experiences and the lessons that you take and how easily you integrate those lessons will be so much easier and more empowered and more like like you'll understand the lesson because you're in your power because you know exactly which wound it's revealing to you like the situation is revealing to you and stuff so like you'll just you'll just you'll just be able I feel like I said that three times you'll just be able to move through life in a like in a freer more authentic way like if you think about being authentic what does that feel like to you, you know? I, for years, I've said about this before, when I was younger, I spent a lot of my life with a mask. Not a physical mask, but like an energetic, metaphorical mask, where I felt like I couldn't be myself, and I wasn't good enough to be myself, and I wasn't deserving of being myself, so I had to be something else, be something that I wasn't, and that doesn't feel good, it literally feels suffocating, it feels like you're in a cage, it feels like the walls are closing in, it feels like you're just drowning in things that are not yours, or that you don't like, that don't benefit you, you know, so like when you think about what authenticity would feel like, to me it feels like freedom, it feels liberating, it feels like there's no cage anymore, there's no walls around you, like you're just free to go and do everything that you want to do, and to go and be exactly who you want to be, and create the life that you really want, like there's just no limits, there's no walls, there's no cage, there's no nothing that's going to stop you, you know, so stepping into your power is literally just being yourself, and we're in a world right now where we're completely conditioned not to be ourselves and not to even know who ourselves are like we're conditioned to follow what's trending follow what's popular to look at what our friends are doing to look at what our family wants us to do you know like we're constantly taught that we can't have a voice or a mind of our own we have to follow the crowd 
and become a sheep like everybody else and just do what we're told and that's literally going against your power it's going against authenticity and making you just be a robot along with everybody else so that's why i feel like so many of us now especially with the internet and having access to so much information and being taught how to step into our power we're able to break those generational curses and cycles and really just figure out who we each are as an individual, you know, because even though we are a part of the all, we are a part of God or source or whatever name you want to use, but we chose to fractalize to come here and play the role of being an individual person that's separate from everybody else. So if you chose to come here and live this life and be you, then you may as well be you to the fullest and create the life that you want and get to know who you actually are in this lifetime so that you know what you're passionate about, you know what excites you, you know what you enjoy, you know what you love, and then you can just focus on creating more of those things and live in your abundance. So yeah, for me, being in your power is literally just being yourself. And I know that's extremely difficult, especially in today's times, like I said, with everything, especially right now with like global pandemic and stuff. I know it can be difficult, but like what other choice is there? You know, if you don't step into your power, then what? What other option is there but to be yourself? Because when you don't, you literally have to live somebody else's life. You have to like do all of the things that you don't really want to do, that you don't enjoy. And we fall into depression, we fall into anxiety and just so many different forms of suffering when you're not literally being who you are and embracing who you are and that includes embracing your vessel as well you know like surgery and things are such a huge thing right now and I know that people don't really want to admit it but it's coming from an insecurity the majority of the time unless it's like a health reason but even then that's a whole other video <laughs> with when it comes to like surgery and stuff but for like um cosmetic surgery it's really coming from an insecurity. It's coming from the fact that you feel like that body part is not good enough and not worthy of being the way that it is, you know, because there's just so many expectations and pressures put on us, especially as young people right now. So I understand that it's very, very difficult to be yourself and you can feel like you're being pulled in all different kinds of directions, but that's why it's just so, so important to block out that noise and go within yourself like sit by yourself and hear your thoughts and it, like literally just hear everything to do with yourself inside your own mind and inside your own heart the things that you feel called towards you know like the things that you enjoy doing and just really get clear on those things because they're what's going to guide you towards all of the experiences that you really want to have all of the blessings that are just waiting to come in but you can't call them in until you're living in your truth and moving from your heart towards things that you feel called towards because you love it because you're excited about it because you want it because it just feels good so we need to be moving from our heart center and our heart chakra and not from just all of this corrupt, toxic, annoying, stressful, survival mode kind of spaces that just leave us feeling anxious and miserable all of the time. And I'm saying this from experience because I have been through that myself. So you are not alone if you're dealing with that. But it's just like only we can change our own lives. You have to take control of your own life. Only you can do it for yourself. Nobody can do it for you no matter how much they tell you you should do this and do that and look at it this way and think positive and all of this shit like nobody can do it for you you have to do it for yourself and that involves getting to know yourself so that you can move from a place of authentic truth that feels good to you rather than what everybody else has to say because it really doesn't matter what anyone else has to say at the end of the day you are the person that you have to live with 24 seven. There's no getting away from you. So you might as well get to know you and who you are and what you want out of this life 
because if we don't know what we want out of this life then what the hell is the point in being here how are we supposed to do anything if we don't even know what we came here for you know so it's just really important to focus on getting to know yourself so that you can be authentic which is your power that is stepping into your power and then watch your life transform and all of the experiences transform into things that you absolutely love and really really want to experience so I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for listening and watching. I really appreciate you. And you can always comment below or DM me or text me if you have any video requests or if you need any advice. Because every time somebody asks me for advice, I decide recently, I've been deciding to just get on camera and film the video as well. Because I know that it's common questions and common problems that people, like it will benefit more people than just the one person that I reply to. So yeah I will definitely film a video on anything that you're going through and all links to my music and social media and my phone number my jewellery brand and my merch and everything else about me will all be in the description box below and I will see you in the next episode bye you could say I love you I can't get enough but I just want you to myself